What is up everyone, Xander here and today we're going to be looking at the new update for Lynx Bliss. Now this is the final update for Lynx Bliss, meaning there's not going to be any more updates for it, obviously. Um, but Rab did tell me that he is working on a newer version of Lynx, but it's not going to be called Lynx Bliss. Not sure if I was supposed to say that or not, but it's out there. So, there's still going to be another Lynx app. It just won't be called Lynx Bliss after this. So, um, for the most part, it does look exactly the same. So, in order, if you want to look at the differences, we're going to have to look at the change log. By the way, I am using my main account on this mainly because normally I would be making an, uh, like a fake account to show everything off. But because this is my main kick, uh, I figured I'd just stay on mine. So, version 3. Remove the check for updates because there won't be any more updates for Lynx Bliss. So, yeah. Added rainbow bubble colors, added incoming bubble color, added rainbow text color, added text colors, uh, added play music, added music settings, added commands, added a bot system, added a fonts, um, manage per chat Zalgo font with Zalgo, okay, and then end of Link's Bliss. So yeah, there's still some things that aren't in here that I wish would have been added, but uh, this is pretty pretty sizable update i'd say so we're gonna look at all the stuff that he added so rainbow bubble color so i'm gonna enable it for both because why not then you can you can change the incoming bubble color there's all these colors um rainbow text color i'm gonna enable those two and then obviously there's text color so you can change it pre-made text colors so there's all these colors for your bubbles and Stuff. There's no bubble shapes or anything like that, but it's whatever. There's also still no um, theme changer, so it's still going to be red with either black, white, or lighter black, or whatever. But um, the next version of Lynx will have a theme changer, so yeah. So he did add a play music button. Before it was just um, lyrics, as you can see right here, but he actually added an option to play music. Now, I haven't tested this one myself. But let's look at the settings. So there's loop music and then there's volume. So there's not a lot of music settings on here, but whatever. Um, let's just... Alright. Oh, I see. So you can't, like... Search songs. And then play them. You just put songs in... They're, like, preset songs here. Which kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. He also spelled Maroon 5 wrong, but... Uh, kind of disappointing. I was expecting, like, a music player where it, like, played whatever music you looked up. Or at least, like, off your internal storage or your SD card or whatever, but... Eh, I don't think anyone's gonna be using this. Um, let's just choose a random song. Oh, it is playing, okay. Yep, there it is. Okay, we're done. We're done. So that works. Still kind of disappointed, but, uh... It's there, I guess, if you like those specific songs. Um, so he added commands. We're gonna test that out. I'll just message my bot account. Um, all right, so let's see. Commands. Cool, cool, okay. So there's also custom commands, as you can see. Custom commands are right there. Um, so that's pretty cool. I don't think there's any kick right now like updated versions of kick <clears throat> that have commands so this is pretty cool so if you miss commands they're back let's try out let's see font oh, okay so when you type in font <clears throat> and then press enter you can choose from binary and zelgo so there's not there's only two fonts well three fonts if you count your default font but um there's binary so ones and zeros and then Zalgo. So then there's that. Rainbow colors aren't working, I think. Only rainbow text is working. Okay, so bubble colors are working for incoming t incoming messages, but it doesn't seem to be working for outgoing messages. I don't know why that is, but whatever. Um, what the, what is this? Zalgo. Zalgo rate. Oh, okay. So you can choose how the Zalgo text is gonna look. So if I choose. Hold on. I'll go rate, I'll do maximum, 
and then so I'll go positions. All right, you can choose. All right, so I'll, I'll remove middle. Test. So it adds a lot more of the, you know, stuff around the text, um, depending on what you choose. So I'll put it back to middle. Now it doesn't look that much different, but that's there. Um, so there's no like font changer within the settings where you have like a list of fonts and it changes, you know, all the fonts, like all message fonts and whatever. But um they have this, so. Alright, let's test out the bot. So let's see. Bot. Oh, groups. Okay. Um Okay, I'll just make a fucking group. Bot. Alright, so there it is. So when you when you type in bot, you'll get a, a, a like a menu. See, I prefer this over like going either like going into the settings and changing the settings for the bot or typing in the bot command and it's just giving you like a text as to how to use it. So this is like so once you type in bot, you'll get to get the settings right in front of you. So that's cool. So OPs. Wow. That's oh wait, there is no OPs. So that text box is really small. Uh, let's see if I can OP uh OP. Oh, done. Okay. OP So yes, we added is enter 184 to OP list. Okay, so let's see. Bot OPs. So there, OP system's back, which not to think about it. I mean it's kinda pointless to have an OP system. Because Kick now has, you know, super admin or owner and then regular admins built in. So I don't really see the point in that, but um, it's there. Um, let's check out the other ones. Oh, whoops. Bot. Lock. So you can lock the group. So you can choose whether to uh, remove somebody that automatically joins or bans. Or it'll automatically ban somebody that joins. All right, so we're going to check out all the, all the bot settings. So there's games. Type in scramble. There's no uh, taboo, which sucks. But, you know, type, enable type game, everyone. Who's allowed to start a type game? Everyone. Uh, manage type game strings. All right, so this, this is where you can change um, what the bot says for the game itself. So, like, so when somebody has entered the game, I mean, so, wait. So when the game is started, you can, you can have it say first to type word when you might want every every uh, word that's in between the percent symbols you have to keep in there um because that's one of the variables that changes whatever word or user it says so yeah you can change what it says which is cool um what else we got manage type game words what? i don't know what that means all right status triggers so this is what um, this is what the bot says automatically when somebody joins, leaves, is removed, banned, unbanned, promoted, or demoted. So then you can also choose to send it in a PM as well. So that's cool. Moderation. Okay, so this is like the this is like to moderate the chat itself. So you can have anti-spam, anti-custom time spams. That that would be really useful because custom time spams are really annoying. So, uh, yeah, manage settings. You have been removed for anti-custom timestamps. You have been banned for anti-custom, okay. Okay, uh, for some reason, for some reason, uh, kick crashed on me when I enabled that, so let's try again. All right, so it enabled, but it caused the, the app to crash, so that's, ba that's probably gonna happen for you guys, I'm not sure. All right, so we got anti-long name, so somebody with a really obnoxious long name automatically gets removed. Anti-long message, uh, anti-promote. Oh, okay, that's cool. So I think it dis it doesn't um, it makes it so uh, admins can't promote people they want to promote and stuff. I guess let's try that out actually. Anti-promote. So I'm gonna promote you. Promote. I'll add a random account. So then, let's try and promote. Let's try and see if the bot will be able to promote.
promote to admin. PM will be able to. Okay, promote. Did it work? It did work. Huh. Well, that didn't help or anything. Um, anti promote did not work. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do. But. I don't know, maybe somebody will be able to clarify what that's supposed to do. So yeah, I guess that's it for all the commands, or bot commands and stuff. So, some stuff may not work. Uh, I'm not sure if Rab tested all these commands, I mean, tested all these uh, settings. Or not, but um, they're there, I guess. Um, if you guys want to update your, your links, uh, you don't have to uninstall or clear your data in order to install the update. You can just start install over it, fortunately. So yeah, link to Link's Bliss version 3 will be in the description below. Uh, pretty cool update, I guess. Um, some of the stuff I probably won't be using, but or a lot of the stuff, I guess. But cool nonetheless. Um, also, some stuff may not work. As you can see, the rainbow text doesn't work for me, like for outgoing bubble colors. I mean, yeah, outgoing bubbles. Alcohol messages, but um, and some bot commands probably don't work either. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.